Hello everyone, my dear friends. I hope you, you are everyone is well and good. Today we are discussing the next part, a next type of economic system that is called planned or command economic system. A planned or command economic system is the economic system where the government controls the production, distribution, and pricing of goods and services. In this system, the government plays a central role in making economic decisions and individual businesses and consumer have little or no, no say in how the economy operates. So everything is controlled by government. The free property concept is not there. Consumers have very little or no choices. Whatever government provides, government consumer will purchase that particular item. Advantages of planned economic system Elimination of monopolies in command economy, the government has control over all aspects of economy. This allows it to prevent the, information, the formation of monopolies which can destroy prices or limit competition. The second advantage is that centralized decision making. With a centralized authority in charge, the economy can be directed towards central goal, certain goals and priorities such as infrastructure development and improving public health. Equal distribution of resources. By controlling production and distribution, the government can ensure that resources are distributed equally among the population, reducing income inequality. That is the drawback of free market economic system. Here planned, this is not this is an advantage that government tries their best that there are distribution of goods and resources equally. Prices are stabilized. With government control pricing, the economy can avoid inflation and ensure stable pricing for the goods and services. There are a few disadvantages of the land economic system. The first one is called lack of incentive. Without a profit motive driving innovation and, eff and efficiency, businesses may not be motivated to produce high quality goods or improve production methods. So very clearly is mentioned that okay, there are no incentive as government control everything. For companies, for private businesses, their purpose is to earning profit. So they work for efficiently and effectiveness, effectively to max get maximum profit. But here government objective is not to earn profit, welfare of society. So we see that okay, high quality goods and services are not available and not new innovative methods of production are available. Second drawback is inefficient resources allocation. Without market mechanism to determine the supply and demand, there may be misallocation of resources leading to shortage of certain goods and services or surpluses of other. So we see that okay, there is lack of planning. Uh, Sometimes we have in government um, not able to allocate resources properly. So there are maybe shortage of some good and there may be surplus of some good. Third disadvantage is that limited consumer choice. With government controlling production and distribution, consumer have limited choice when it comes to good and services. Consumer have very little or less choices or no choices because everything is controlled by government. Government decide what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce and they have to decide how to distribute the good. Last but least disadvantage is called bureaucratic inefficiency. With government making all economic decisions, there may be delay or bureaucratic inefficiency in implementing policy and decision making. So this is a main drawback of planned economic system that uh, the, there are filing system. Everyone try their best that they have to delay the decision and there are inefficiency in implementation of decision. And that is will not that is not happening in free market system. In free market system, every businesses want to get maximum profit, so they implement the decision properly. So overall, while our planned or command economy, economy can provide some benefits such as eliminating monopolies and ensuring equal distribution of resources or income or wealth, it also has several drawbacks including limited consumer choices and inefficiency in allocation of resources. So my dear students, here we complete the topic of land or command economic system in a very short way that you have to understand the concept of that. I hope so you understand it very well. 
see you in next video that will be on mixed economic system the third type of economic system see you take care